Hi guys, I'm Chris at Charge Services. Uh, welcome to our new series of quick hick tips and tricks. Uh, these are short videos on particular issues that come up all of the time. Uh, if you like the videos, hit the like button and push the subscribe. Uh, don't forget the bell to keep up to date with all of our latest content. Uh, if you haven't found a solution to your issues so far in our videos, then the best way um, for you to get ahead is to leave a comment below uh, detailing the, uh, the issue that you're coming up against and we'll make a video so we can fix that for you in the future. So today's video is going to be about sorting out your web browser interface so you can get into your MVR using Internet Explorer and correctly watch your feeds. Um, what you can see at the moment is we can get to the login screen using Microsoft Edge, um, can enter the username and password, but on Internet Explorer we're currently getting a blank screen. It doesn't seem to matter what we do, we can't get into the interface. So if you've been trying to follow other people's videos and how to do certain things with your MVR, you might be getting frustrated at this point to see that it's not working. So what you need to do first of all is if you're using Edge and you can log in to the web interface, this will identify your first problem. So if you can get into Edge, no problem, and you can see where you should be able to get your live view, you can push the play button and you'll get nothing happening. In the top corner, it'll ask you to download the plugin. So if you've already had Internet Explorer working before now and you've had no issues, then you shouldn't be needing to download the plugin. Um, but if you haven't done that, click the download plugin and then you'll see that you'll get in your, um, your local service components is downloading and everything should be doing what it should be doing. So you download that and you install the plugin to make sure that that's working. Right? Then you're going to go back to Internet Explorer and you're going to try again. And you're still seeing that you're entering your IP address, but you're getting no access. And the main reason for this, if you go into Internet Options of Internet Explorer, then this will be cross-browser compatible. If your Internet Option settings are not set, Chrome and any other browser that you're trying to view this in will have the same issue. So what you need to do is you need to go into Internet Options. You then need to go to Security. And the set, setting here for security level for this zone will show you the allowed zones. Most of the time this is on high. If you don't want to reduce this down to a lower setting, what you need to do is go to Trusted Sites, go to Sites, and then add the website into the Trusted Site Zone. That will then allow this website to open ActiveX controls and things like that without having to change your settings on anything else. So you need to exit Internet Explorer, open it up again. This should allow you to get to Google. We'll go to 192.168.0.190 and now you see that the Hikvision login page has now appeared and that is because the site has been exempt from the rules restricting the ActiveX controls and you already have your um, your plugin installed when you now go to log in you'll be greeted back to the first page at this point I would say to you check your configuration first of all when you get to configuration go to local and there is a section here called encryption key. In here, you need to make sure that you've entered your encryption key that you've set using either um, SADP or when you originally activated your um, HitConnect um, product that would have asked you to in, in enter an encryption key for your streams. Go back to the live view, press the play button, and now you should see all of your streams have now become live and now visible on there. So it's as simple as that. Internet options, go to trusted sites and add the IP address of your MVR as a, uh, as a trusted site and then that will get you back working again. So this has been another hick, quick trip, tip and trick. So if you like the video, hit the like button, push the subscribe and don't forget the bell.